story about extreme forward planning. 20 <laughs> years, to be precise. Toby. Yes, yeah, so the um, 18th Duke of Norfolk... Earl Marshal of England is the uh, man responsible for organising the Queen's lying in state and the state funeral. What a task. And um, it is a, it is a, it's a tough job, but um, his ancestors have held the post continuously since 1672. So he's, 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 he's had a certain amount of preparation. Um, and, um, and apparently his predecessor, his father, Miles, his father, so the current occupant's grandfather, yes. said it should be a piece of cake because he had to organise the crossing of the Rhine in the Second World War in 24 hours. So wow. organising the Queen's funeral will be a piece of cake, according to his grandfather. But, but it's clearly not a piece of cake. You know, and this has been such a sort of massive operation. The military have obviously had to be involved. Mm. You know, this has been absolutely huge, Nick. Yeah, well, you start to realise how much these things are planned. I think I mentioned the other day, I was watching that film from 2006, and they talk about the uh, Operation Tay Bridge, which was the yeah. Queen Mother's, the plan for the Queen Mother's funeral, and her being a bit irked that Diana now, the Diana funeral was using the same model because they had to use some sort of operational model. Yes. And so you realise how much... And I, as someone who recently got 91% conscientiousness on a personality test, I love <laughs> the attention to detail that goes into it. And I also love that the... the uh, what's his name? Is it Edward Fitzland Howard? It's the, he's the Earl Marshal, isn't he? Yes. I love that he said... I'm determined not to charge the state a penny for my work as Earl Marshal. I mean, he did all this huge amount of preparation and he, on principle, won't charge for it, which I think is great. I mean, even this, the, the, the uh, plans for Westminster Hall, I mean, this has been incredibly complicated because of these five-mile queues, apparently they're reaching five miles at the moment. People are saying it's a nine-hour queue. Uh, what do you think about this, Toby? I mean, did you hear, by the way, that MPs are getting to jump the queue? I did hear and, that. And not, not only, only that, them, but their staff too. They each get like three They get four tickets. Plus threes. Yeah, yeah, they get plus four. So you, 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 <laughs> I can see why if I'd been standing in the queue for nine hours, I might resent that. No, yeah. But um, one of the things the Earl Marshal has <laughs> done is um, to plan for an extra day yes. uh, for the Queen to lie in state. Um, which allows, he says, an additional 85,000 people to fall okay. past the Gulf. Well, that is forward thinking. Uh